All right, welcome back to On One Photo Raw, and today we're gonna to take a look at focus stacking inside of the program. Now, if you've never heard of focus stacking, a lot of times when you're taking macro photography, it's very hard to get a large depth of field. Well, the reason for this is because of your distance to your subject. Depth of field is a combination of three items in photography. One, your aperture, two, your distance to subject, and three, which is your focal length. And in this case, we are really, really close. And the closer you get to your subject, the shallower depth of field, meaning the less is actually in focus. And what can happen a lot of times is you actually, at a really high aperture, can never get the depth of field that you want. So we're gonna use a technique called focus stacking. Now in focus stacking, we're gonna go ahead and click on this first image and change the view menu here. And you can see I focused right here in front of this image. And then the next image, I focused a little bit further away. And then the next image, I focused a little bit further away and then more and then more and then more, more until that whole yellow flower had been in focus at one point. Now what focus stacking does, it looks at the aspects of the image that are actually in focus, and combines them all into one image. Where it was impossible for me to get the front part of the flower and then the yellow part of the flower all in focus, by using focus stacking, we can get one image in which all that is actually in focus. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on this first image. I'm gonna hold shift and click on the last image. And then we are gonna go all the way over here to where it says focus. And we're gonna click on that little focus button right there. And what it's gonna do is analyze and align these images. Now you're gonna have a little bit of movement most likely when you're doing macro photography from touching the camera. Or if it's a flower, a lot of times things just wind can blow. Do not worry about it the camera or the program is going to be able to align the image. So you'll notice over here, we've got align photos, meaning that it's aligning everything. So everything lines up. The next option we have is, do we want a layered result? I actually don't want a layered result, but if you want to see the layered result, basically what it's going to do is mask either out or in different aspects of each image and then kind of combine them all and put them all together. I don't really care about having all that. We're just gonna combine this into one image. Basically what I wanna do is get the front part of this, which was in focus, and then the back part, which was in focus. Then we can open the image once we are done and we can open it into the develop module, the facts, or return to the browser. In this case, we're gonna to go to the develop module. So here is our depth of field slider. If we want to reduce the depth of field, I can reduce the depth of field by sliding it this way or I can slide this one this way, but I wanna have the max depth of field in this case. The speckle, which is gonna help kind of remove some noise or just kind of areas where the mask is not perfect and you can kind of tell where that area is. Threshold is determining how sensitive the mask is to the image. So if you increase the threshold, the less sensitive the mask is gonna to be to the image. We're just gonna leave that all the way off. And then sensitivity, we're gonna go ahead and slide sensitivity up or down. So it's gonna make the masking area more sensitive or less sensitive. And we'll just try it right in the center. Hey, these are things that you're gonna to have to try to kind of figure out to see how you like and, and where you wanna put these different items, especially threshold and sensitivity. Now you could save this once you are done combining everything and you think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and it's gonna combine all these images into a stacked image or a new image inside of the program. 
And you can see down here, it's created a new file called focus stacking. And we are going to go into the develop module and then we can start adjusting it. So if we want to increase the exposure a little bit, we can go ahead and slide that off. If I want to increase my shadows, I can come in here and slide my shadows around a little bit until I get the image looking exactly how I want. In this case, I'm just gonna open up my shadows a little bit and I'm basically gonna come in here and use the adjustment brush that we had before. And the last thing that we're gonna do to this image is make a local adjustment. So we're gonna come over here and click on local. Now, local is really a selective adjustment. So you're going to come over here, you're going to adjust this how you want, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always come back and do it. And then you're gonna come in here and paint into this image. And this is gonna be applying a mask. You can see right here, white is showing and black is hiding. Now, when you're making a mask, you need your mask to be pretty accurate. If you have to zoom in here to make your mask better, make sure that you apply it everywhere you want it to appear and then paint black in or paint out where you don't want it to appear. You could also make a selection of this and then apply this adjustment to that selection. And then once you've made the mask, you can come in here and adjust this to get the brightness level exactly where you want it. And that's how you do focus stacking inside of On One Photo Raw. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.